Hallelujah, it's time for the word, and today's word, I've just labeled it, dear mom, dear mom, because I have a message to all mothers, kindly asking my producer to switch this thing off. All right, then, okay, let's now flow. Dear mom, you know, when I was reading the Bible, there's one mother that I admire so much in the Bible, the mother of Moses, Jochebed. That woman blows my mind, just to imagine what she did to preserve the life of Moses. She did everything she could, you know, after giving birth to Moses, and you can see during that time, Pharaoh was wild. <laughs> he was wild. He was left, right, and center, just killing any young male child being born during that time. And that time is when now Moses decided to show up. But if you interrogate this story deeply, Unaona Kwamba, that this time the enemy knew that there is a deliverer somewhere, <laughs> a deliverer somewhere who had been born. So uh, he was not sure who. So he cannot just come on earth and start killing and try to find out So he had to use a person because the devil will use man. The devil will use man. The devil can never use a cow. So I can use, I can stop Pharaoh and decided, no, Pharaoh decided to slaughter all the young boys that were being born during that time. So that's why Jochebed, when he gave birth, when she gave birth to Moses, I can hide Moses, I can feature, I can feature, I can feature. What Jochebed did not know that Moses now was the deliverer that Pharaoh was looking for and Pharaoh had partnered with the devil. Meshika sasa, unaenda na mimi, good. Sasa, so, so Moses was being targeted. But they didn't know that it was Moses. So Jochebed, what Jochebed partnered with God to save the life of Moses, I can feature for three months. So for those three months, Pharaoh was still killing men, killing boys, being born during that time. So he was still searching for any boy who was being born. So for three months, Jochebed had a feature home total. After three months, this child was too big. She could not hide him anymore. So he prepared something like a, like a basket TV. He prepared vizuri na kamweka ndani na kampeleka river nine where the babies were being thrown. But here kamweka something that would float for him not to drown and and die. So I come up on I come up on Kandoya Bush. Just strategically, on that day, you know what? That is the day Pharaoh's daughter decided, Wacha niende nika, niende dufumbararo. And that is the day Moses was saved. What Jochebed did, he didn't, she did not know that Moses was the deliverer that the enemy was looking for. So dear mom, that child that you have, you don't know what that is in that child. The, the, the destiny, the purpose that is in that child that you have you know after so many encounters uh, the past the past what should I say the past year the last year and this year I've been to so many schools so many girls school and they have shared with me you during the workshops you usually call them workshops where you just meet with the girls and talk to them one on one and these girls have been sharing with me very sad story that's why I'm writing this letter to all mothers these girls have been sharing to me very, very sad story that at home, this child, these kids are teenagers. Our twin teenies, ni wasewa high school by the campus ijaenda, but mostly ni menda high school. Our se ni ma teenies. Now, wakiwa home, things happen. Things happen at home that our mothers, our dear moms are so blind they cannot see. I want to speak to a mother today that they need to open their eyes and be aware of what is happening in their homes. These girls are going through a lot. These guys, these girls are going through a lot. And some of these girls are so scared to share with you moms. Because when you kali, kindly tone down, talk to your girl, speak to your girl. This is an adolescent girl. She's in adolescent stage. So she's going through a lot. Her body is developing as well as so many things around her that are taking place that you're not aware of. Dear mom, do you know while you are away, your brother is busy molesting your daughter? Dear mom, do you know while you're away, your niece who is much older than your daughter is busy molesting your daughter and she cannot come and tell you. Even if she tells you, you do not believe her. And I'm here asking myself, dear mom, this child that you carried for nine to eight months, you conceived this child. You, are, you cannot believe that child. You're choosing to believe someone else over your own child. Yes, she's in that adolescent stage. She could be 
uh, jumpy here and there, doing things here and there. But when she comes to you to tell you about that their, their brother or even their older cousin or even your brother who is now their uncle, who is supposed to be taking care of them, is molesting them. Why would you not to believe? Why would you choose to believe someone else who is not your daughter? This message nearly, nearly took I wish I was very mad. Dear moms, dear moms, why would you choose to believe in someone else and not your daughters? Yes, Wako, in that adolescent stage, yes, I understand them. But can you just try and investigate this story that they are telling you? Unasema, ah, umtuto anasumbua. Ha, sumbui, anakusho kitu ya ukweli. Endo uka investigate, dear mom. Go and investigate and find out, is this story that they are telling me, is it true? Please investigate that neighbor. I met a lady, a girl. A neighbor was busy molesting her. I met a girl. Uh, an uncle was molesting her. She was now pregnant. She's in form two, form three there. She's pregnant. She's scared. She cannot come to tell you that your brother has raped her. Dear mom, why are you so blind you cannot see this? Please open your eyes, investigate the issue, try and be open-minded, sit down with your girl, have a relationship with them. Don't let this girl, Amazia Fonfo, she gets so angry and goes away to university and never comes back. And I say, my mama ni pendi, mama ni sikiangi, ni kimuambia, ni believe. Please, dear mom, build a relationship with your daughter. Let it not be the case that this child runs away in campus or this child goes to on that abortion table and she dies. I've had so many stories of girls going to on an abortion table and they die on that table because their mother neglected them. Dear mom, do you want that to be your story? Can you be an epitome or an example of Jochebed, Moses' mother, who nurtured that girl, that child, hide it, that child, alim feature, protect, protect your child with all, everything that you get, every, with all your strength, even if they are work on an attitude or what they say, these Gen Z's are rowdy and we cannot understand them, love them. That is your child. That is a gift that God has given you. Um, a child is a gift to a parent, but the child you raise is a gift to God. Try and package something so good to, your ch to God and return you to him. Anna said, give me a son, I'll give you a prophet. What are you carrying? What are you raising? The child you're raising could be greater, could be a deliverer, could be the voice for the generation, could be the next president. Who knows? Please try and be a friend to your child and listen to what they are going through. Be interested in their life. Don't be so busy making money to the next extent you forget to raise your own child. And on that note, that brings to the end, at least in the event, Naskia Fiti, Naskia Fiti. Now I want to pray for someone who wants to give their life to God. God loves you. I'm here to tell you that God loves you. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what you've done in the past. Jesus came for that, for you, for you, for you. You are so special to, to God. You have no idea how much God loves you. So if any, there's anyone who wants to receive Christ right now, I just want to lead you with this prayer, salvation today, just like Zacchaeus was told, salvation has come to your house. Salvation today is coming to your house. Just repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I acknowledge that I'm a sinner in need of a savior and I accept you, Jesus Christ, as my Lord and savior. Forgive all my sin. Give me a new chapter. Give me a new nature. In Jesus Christ, I accept the work of the cross and beginning now, I am born again. Thank you, Jesus, to everyone who has made this prayer. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Lead them in the path of everlasting. And God, may as they receive eternal life, let there be a turnaround. Let there be a shift in their life and in their, in their walk, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that you made this show a success. We give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.